Hi, today I'm going to show you how to build a complete temperature sensor with local reporting and charting and go from this to this, a fully enclosed sensor with an OLED screen for local temperature and humidity display. This is an example of a fully completed sensor. I have these sensors set up all over the house, for example the garage, the family room and the laundry room, all of them reporting to OpenHub. One of the main reasons I have these temperature and humidity sensors all around the house is that I can monitor the performance of my heating and cooling system and adjust it as necessary. I have all these sensors calibrated to my main thermostat and based on that calibration I can see if my thermostat temperature which is located in the dining room matches the other rooms around the house and open and close registers around the house as I need to. For example, you can see that my master bedroom and ensuite temperatures pretty much match, but the guest room temperature fluctuates a lot more. And that's because the registers in the guest room are almost always closed. I can also plug in the motion sensor, in this case an HC501SR. And now, every time the sensor is set off, and you see that by the M appearing in the upper right corner of the display, the sensor will send that motion event via Mosquito to my OpenHab system. I use that function to turn on the bathroom hallway light at night. So I'll do a quick overview of the sensor and in future videos I'll show you exactly how to make one of these, program it with Arduino and connect it to your OpenHab instance. I'll disconnect the motion sensor and the power. and open up the inside. Inside the sensor I have this PCB that houses the DHT22 sensor. And I'll pull that out. And on the PCB, I have a node MCU board that sits on headers soldered to the PCB. And from the PCB, I'm also using wires to connect to the OLED screen, which is mounted to the opening in the sensor enclosure. Now you might wonder why I'm using a Node MCU and not just a bare ESP8266 chip, which I've seen some other people use in their projects. But I like the fact that the Node MCU has power and serial communication and circuitry built into one board. For my sensors, which report temperature and humidity every minute, using an ESP8266 with battery power will not work very well. And with my PCB board, and then all them see you, the assembly of these becomes very easy. So that's it for this video. In the next one, I'll show you exactly step-by-step step how to build a complete sensor. And then in future videos, I'll show you configuration and how to add external sensors, for example, the motion detect. I'll link to the rest of the videos here. And if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.